Hi, my name is Sam Dhanashekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we will talk about how to install SQL Developer. You might wonder, while uh, in this series, while I was talking about uh, uh, sys privileges and role privileges, uh, why did I suddenly jump into SQL Developer? I thought, uh, you know, if we install SQL Developer, it would be much easier for me to explain uh, things uh, in the sense using SQL developer I can also show you how to generate uh, the SQL commands so that you can learn uh, you can do the same thing using the DBA, uh, database control uh, but then again I thought uh, SQL developer would help you as well so you need to go to downloads.oracle.com or go to oracle.com and then click downloads and then uh, I hope uh, you know most of you might be having a Windows 64 bit otherwise download the version of SQL developer uh, which is appropriate to you so I clicked this one and it downloaded uh, the installation file and I kept the file here okay this is the file SQL developer 64 bit okay so again let me repeat go to oracle.com or you can just say download.oracle.com or downloads.oracle.com I think it will redirect uh, to this page uh, where you know uh, you click in the popular downloads you will see SQL developer if not you know just go there and uh, look for SQL developer and once you come to this page and uh, look uh, and download the one download the the installation file which is appropriate to you I have already downloaded it and I'm gonna install it it's I'm gonna extract the files it's gonna take a while meanwhile let's go and see the installation notes what does it say the download does not include JDK. You can connect to and use any JDK 1.6 and run. To install run, ensure that you have JDK installed. If not, download here. Okay, so it needs JDK. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Okay, it's installing. Okay, so the extraction is done and uh, it went to this folder and that's it, I guess. So let me see if it's if it needs JDK or not. Okay, so it looks for JDK. So let me go to this page. How I got to this page, which is basically you know I clicked the installation notes here and then it opened a new tab and then it says ensure you have JDK installed okay if not download from here so I'm clicking that okay let me go to the latest one okay I'm accepting and mine is Windows 64 Yeah, I'm gonna run it. It's gonna take a while. Okay, since I clicked run after download, it's installing. Okay, it's going to program files Java JDK 1.7. So this I need to note down. Okay, see program files Java JDK 1.7017. Okay, installation done. And JRE goes there. Okay, 
okay it's asking me to create an account and everything okay i'm gonna close it so now okay so now i'm going back to this sql developer.exe file which was extracted i'm going to run it okay so it's asking me the full path name for the java.exe which i know it's in this jdk okay i'm just doing a copy i'm doing a paste yes skip this message yes file association let me bring the screen here Okay, I don't want any tip of the day. And uh, that's it. Let me explain how do I connect to the database that I just installed. What I can do is go to the Oracle home which is app sam product db home and then I can go to this network admin okay here if you see there is this file tns name start ara you know i will talk about this later but then this got created when we created the database okay so this is used for the sql plus program or any program to connect to the database okay like a connection string so I'm going to select that. I'm going to select this sqlnet.ara. Just copy this and I'll not to the JDK folder and not to this folder either. Here, copy those files here TNS names.ara and sqlnet.ara. So now here I come back. And then I can choose a new connection. Under new connection, I just choose DNS names. Okay, so it will list me the database. Okay, I'm gonna call it again. Demo DB the name of the connection. I know the username is Sam, and I think I kept the password also Sam. But then again, you can keep it whatever you want. Success. Okay. I'm just saving the password and everything. I save the connection. Okay, so here it creates demo DB. Okay, so the reason I saved the password and I saved the connection is next time when I invoke uh, SQL Developer, I'm, I'm going to click cancel now. Next time when I invoke SQL Developer, the connections, the connection detail will show up here, and then all I need to do is just click it. It will connect because the username and password are saved. So once I do that, I would be able to go into the database, I think. Okay, this is the reason I wanted to show because um, it would be much easier to show you 
couple of things here. Okay, for example, you know, I can just do a right click and click new table and then, you know, so it creates a table called uh, table one under my schema but the important thing is like and I can show you the detail like now how it works create I, I can show you the command create table table one you know it creates those things automatically so from now onwards you know I will be using SQL developer uh, you know I'm gonna go to the database control also uh, but the thing is you know uh, using SQL developer it be it would be easier for me to show the the, the, the commands that are actually being executed too. Thank you for watching.